Hello my friends, it's Gabriel with The Last Huntsman Outdoors here and I am very excited to get out here and do this review because I've been waiting for this knife for a while and uh, I've seen it several months ago, almost a year ago now, uh, as like a prototype. But the knife I'm talking about is the Reef Knives Circadian. It's their new EDC kind of bush knife. Let's check this knife out. All right, so here is the Reef Knives Circadian. I think they have a few different variants that's coming out, but this one is the uncoated Magna Cut. It's right around three and a half inch blade. It's eighth of an inch thick. And this one has black micarta handles. Fills the hand really good, has a real deep kind of belly. It almost kind of has like a tanto-ish look to it, but I actually like it. They labeled it as a clip point. To me, it kind of seems more like a drop point, but that's just my own opinion. The um, bead on there is the Exodus knife and tool bead. Um, I put that on there because the sheath that it comes with, which I am actually a big fan of, is this leather pouch style sheath. I'm pretty sure this is Badger Claw Outfitters, but I'll correct myself in the comments if I'm wrong on that. And it also came with an ulti clip. So this thing, bear with me, I'm trying to do this one-handed. This thing, right out of the box, is ready to go for EDC. Let's get testing this knife. The Reef Circadian, I think it's a great bushcraft and EDC knife. Let's go ahead and do some batoning with it here. It's only a three and a half inch blade, eighth of an inch thick, so it's not gonna be some like heavy duty batoner by no means, but it can get some work done. It's a very high, almost full flat grind on that too, which thank you very much, Reef. I really like that, especially for a knife of this size. If I can get one more. This one's a little more knotty here. Feels pretty good. Just a tad bit more batoning. We're going to go ahead and see if we can split down these halves here. right through that knot. Really awesome. That magna cut. Seems like it's holding up pretty good. Here we have a reef circadian. It's their new model It'll be releasing September 13th, but we're going to compare it to some other knives here that I like the EDC. Here we have the Very Good Knife Company Adventure Junior. Here we have the Primitive Bear Knives Hunter's EDC. Here we have the Lion Steel M2M. Here we have the SE3. Here we have the Bradford Guardian 3.5. Actually, I think these two are probably the closest in size. Now, one I also been having a lot of people ask about is here is the White River Knives Ursus Cub. These are actually pretty close too, and both of them are in Magna Cut. Do some feather sticks with it.
and make some amazing feather sticks. Reef knives. I'm gonna see if I can get some more feather sticks with the reef knives. Circadian. Those are some pretty fine feather sticks. So one of the things that has really impressed me with the Reef Knives Circadian is the sheath itself. I'm pretty sure this is a Badger Claws uh, Outfitters leather sheath, but I could be wrong there. But it works great as like a pocket carry type of sheath. Really great for that, honestly. And even the way I like to carry it, which is just kind of four o'clock position, tucked into my pants. And then of course my t-shirt just will conceal it. And works amazingly well like that. I'm very impressed with the uh, Reef Knives Circadian Sheath. Quick one minute fire with the Reef Knives Circadian. All right, gonna just do some material cutting here. Oh yeah, that full flat grind, magna cut blade, just glides right. That was doubled up, but still glides right through it. Do one more here. Just fine. All right, we're gonna do some uh, bushcraft notches here. I'm gonna start off with a little square notch. There we go. Give me a little tent stake. Perfect. Should do a little bit of cross grain batoning here. Popped right through that little piece. Ooh. Just fine. All right, something else to kind of consider with the Reef Knives Circadian is it does have that really just deep belly right there towards the end. So, it kind of gives you a lot of authority right there towards the tip almost, which for like skinning and stuff like that, but might actually be kind of interesting. I think... I think I'm actually going to take this knife out as my hunting knife this year. Um, deer season is starting in just like a couple weeks for archery and of course rifle season. So I think this might be my main uh, go-to hunting knife this year. So I definitely will be giving some updates on how this thing performs for that. And of course I could always try to get some 
small game before then too if i ever get any time all right so now i'm gonna do my test where i just do that ninja death grip i'm just gonna squeeze it pretty hard actually you know what for some of the naysayers i'm just gonna even take the glove off but i'm just gonna do some slicing kind of see how it does and how it feels and with that really high saber almost full flat grind i don't even know exactly what you would count that i mean it's very very high saber grind i guess but with that it slices really good and honestly the handle is probably one of my favorite edc size knife handles uh, this thing, I could just do that ninja death grip, squeeze it as hard as I want, and it just feels perfect in my hand. But yeah, I'm very impressed with the ergonomics. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like a SE3 almost with the handle shape but without the stupid choil on it. And the blade shape is a little different than the SE3, but the ergonomics actually feels fairly similar. And of course this one has black micarta and I really like the fact that they put a lot of texturing on that. Thank you Reef for doing that. That just gives a lot of positive uh, traction on it, but yet it's not like overly intrusive or anything too. So the ergonomics, for my hand, I think it's perfect. I got medium-sized hands. Uh, it does have like this slight little hump there, but it's not like ridiculous or gaudy or anything like that. And my finger just fits perfectly right through there. So I'm very impressed with the ergonomics and the all overall fit and uh, fit and finish and uh, performance of this knife thus far. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review here. Um, overall, I have to say the Reef Knives Circadian, I think is like the perfect blend of like a bushcraft slash EDC woods knife. And I'm definitely going to be coming back to this knife for like a part two. I just wanted to kind of get a quick video out for you guys. Uh, this knife will be releasing September 13th. So be sure to check that out. And I have to give a special thanks to Reef Knives for sending this to me for testing and review. As always, though, I will give it to you guys straight. But right off the bat, I just have to say I like this knife a lot. I've been looking forward to this knife for quite a while i definitely plan on doing like a part two longer term review on this knife and i plan on taking this knife out with me for this uh hunting season so i think it's going to be a great just like edc and hunting bushcraft knife i mean it does a lot of your fine stuff really well if you paired this with like even like a reef f6 or se hungless or something bigger i think it would be just uh perfect for all that so I'm very excited for this knife. I'm uh, eager to get it back out here in the woods and do even more testing and, and work with it and kind of give you guys a more longer term review. But for now, I'm very impressed with it. I really enjoy using this knife. So uh, as always, with that being said, be prepared both physically and spiritually. God bless and carry on.